how husbands ought to love their wives. They're really doing themselves a favor since they're already one in marriage. No one abuses his own body, does he? No. He feeds it, takes care of it. That's how Christ treats us, the church, since we are part of his body. And this is why a man leaves father and mother and cherishes his wife. No longer two, they become one flesh. This is a huge mystery, and I don't pretend to understand it all. But what is clearest to me is the way that Christ treats the church. And this provides a good picture of how each husband is to treat his wife, and how his wife, loving himself, and loving her, and how each wife is to honor her husband. Michael and Desiree, uh, tonight is a... Tonight is a night you'll never, ever forget. And as people are taking pictures, you know, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. You ever heard that saying before? And uh, usually, uh, well, a lot of times, the first person that you look for in a picture is yourself. And tonight, I want you to find yourselves in this picture of the love of God that I've just shared with you out of Ephesians. I want you to find yourselves in that picture, because you're going to need these pictures of yourselves and God's love for the rest of your married lives together. So, 
I want to bring out a couple of those snapshots kind of that, are, that I find in this portion of scripture. Now, the first one is this. It says, Husbands, go all out in your love for your wife as Christ did for the church. So, Michael, I want to encourage you and challenge you that, bud, you need to go all out with Desiree. Uh, not just tonight, not just as you had uh, together to this point, but for the rest of your life. That, that is a love that's marked by giving. It's not by getting. You know, there's a saying I heard a preacher say years ago. Is that it goes like this. Uh, boys take and men give. Don't ever forget that. Boys take and men give. So you give your life to Desiree. You give your life for Lucas. You give your life for your family. That is the role of a man to, to not be selfish but to be selfless this whole life. To offer your life up as a sacrifice for this woman that stands by your side. Okay? The second picture is, again, is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, addressing you again. I'm going to pick on you a little bit tonight, Michael. And that is this. It says, Christ's love makes the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. As beautiful as Desiree is tonight, as beautiful as she is to you, um, your words over her for the rest of your lives will invoke beauty out of her as you grow together as one. Well. The words that you say, the actions that you take towards her will bring the best of her beauty. You can see, you've seen nothing yet, you know? And, and that, that's just in knowing what God has put on the inside of her. And so I encourage you and I challenge you Always speak words of praise over Desiree. Always speak words of honor and respect. Never undermine her with words of disrespect. Always honor her. Speak words of beauty. And you will see over the years of your marriage, beauty come out of you. And the, last, the next one is this. It says, husband, the husband provides leadership to his wife like Christ does to the church. And I want to remind you that both and Michael, you're the leader of this union. Now, in that, please understand that you don't you don't have a position over her. You lead walking side by side together. You are one together. You are not over her in a domineering way, but you lead as the leader as you walk side by side. And remember that man's role that a man can't be passive as a husband, that a man has to be responsible. And he has to lead courageously. You'll have to make hard decisions at times. And in those times, God will honor those decisions when you do it in a spirit of love for Desiree and for your family, for Lucas and for however many children the Lord brings you in the years to come. Amen? And so the last one I'm going to direct towards you, and that is, wives, understand and support your husband in ways that show your support for Christ. If you think about your relationship with Christ, is that He has never uh, shown a lack of respect towards us as His children. He's always supported us in everything that we do, even when we make mistakes. And there will be times that Mike makes mistakes in his leadership and in the relationship, but if, as best as you can, Desiree, show your support for Michael the way that Christ shows his support for the church and honor his words, honor his leadership. Uh, none of us men got it down. None of us are perfect. We make mistakes. But uh, that's the way Christ looks at us. He overlooks those mistakes and encourages us to grow. And I, so I encourage you to, to do the same with Michael. All right?